All right, I'm going to be showing you all how to set up a really simple Minecraft server pretty quickly. This is running in Ubuntu server. Um, I'm just have a terminal window open. So you can do this on any Linux version, any, and it should be pretty much the same. Your package manager might be different, but that should be about all this different. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a directory to run it in. All right. And then over here, you can see you have the Minecraft server website window. I'll put this link in the description. So we're going to want to right click on this jar. We want to copy the link address. Then we're going to want to download it. I'm using wget to download it. You can use whatever you want. And then now it's downloaded. I'm going to rename the server.jar to the version that it is, which this is 1.19. So I'm going to call it 1.19. Char. All right. Next thing you want to make sure is that you have the correct version of Java installed. Oopsies. So I've got OpenJDK 17.0. I'm pretty sure you need above 17 or above to do the Minecraft server. So the command to install it, if you don't have it installed, would be apt-get install open jdk-17-jre dash dash which means open jdk the open source java 17 java runtime environment so one, if you have that installed you can go ahead make sure you have screen installed i have screen installed this will be a useful package in running the server connecting into and out of the console and Next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and create up a startup script. Into it. Then next thing you want to do is you're going to want to make sure this file is executable. So if we can see in here, it's not green, which means we can't run it. We're going to want to chmod, which just changes the permission level, 6 makes it executable for this, I mean seven, sorry, makes it executable for this user, then six, which means same group, not executable, and then four, which is read only for everyone else. If you want to change what it is, you can do seven zero zero. The The next two values don't really matter for this. So I'm going to chmod start.sh, and then go ahead and put in my password. And then now we should have an executable start.sh. Yep. Right. Go ahead and go in here. Yep. All right. And then next step, you're going to go ahead and want to use your screen. You're going to want to create a new session. So this will create a new session. The dot s just says what you want to name it. I'm going to name mine Minecraft. And then now we're in the screen session now. That's why everything else just went away. And then we're going to want to go ahead and run our start.sh. You can see it unpacks and tries to build it up for the first time. And then we have to edit our eula.txt. You'll see in this folder a bunch of stuff has been created, but the server isn't actually running that right now. We're going to want to edit our eula.txt. set it to true I'm using vim to edit it you can use whatever text editor you want nano whatever you want um, and then now if we run the start.sh again it should start all the way up running now you can see the minecraft server is open on this port so right now, this server is only going to be accessible from your local network. You're going to need to port forward this however you want. Um, yeah, so port forwarding depends a lot on the router. It'd be almost useless to cover it. But basically what you're going to do, go to your router config, um, for the 25565 port, to this computer, whatever you're running it on. So, and then that should pretty much let anyone connect with your IP address. And then now you can see 
we're running the Minecraft server. This is the console for the Minecraft server. So if you type help, you get all the Minecraft commands. So you can turn the whitelist on, whitelist your friends. Oopsies. I haven't played Minecraft in a minute. It's whitelist add real. That add me to it. All right, so now it's up and running. I'm whitelisted. And now you're probably like, how do I get out of this? So that's why we set up screen earlier. So you can go ahead and do screen. Hold down control A and then press D. And that's that tells it to detach from the screen. And then we're back in the main menu. And if we list the screens with screen dash LS, we can see we have a Minecraft screen running. Now let's say you got to reconnect to the console. You're trying to OP someone. You're going to want to screen dash R. Then the name of the screen you set. So mine I called Minecraft, screen dish or Minecraft, and we're back in here. So we can OP. Now control A, control D, and we've disconnected. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You have it running. There's a lot more complex stuff you can do. You can set up the auto start, backups, and um, just know that this won't cover port forwarding, so you can look that up elsewhere. You just need to port forward whatever port you've chosen in your server dot properties, the defaults 25565 to the computer running Minecraft. All right. Thanks for watching.